Welcome to Still Plays Galaxy Heroes. This is Grand Arena, the second matchup of the second week, season 26. Last round was a tough loss because I played great. My opponent played a little better. We both one-shot each other and it came down to banners. He was a bit more efficient than I was. There's a number of teams I probably could have undersized that I didn't. And in retrospect, that is a regret. So he beats me by 16 banners. That's a pretty solid amount. So you know he was doing a good amount of undersize. I'll be interested to see how he played that uh, next week when I can see what teams he used. This round, we have an opponent with a great roster, but I suspect he isn't going to be participating too much. His history was inconsistent. Here's a look at the top of his roster. So he has five GLs. A lot of good stuff there. But when we take a look at the hotbot, this is what we see here. Strong guild. He has low lifetime banners, low clears, low undersizes. So that right there is a pretty good clue at how seriously he's going to be taking this. Zetas is pretty low considering he has 5 GLs, 0 Omicrons, which is bizarre. Ton of relics, a lot of characters, but... In weird places, there's a number of things he's missing. And then looking at his mods, you can see he has like 130 more 6 dot mods than me, but doesn't even come close with the 10 plus mods. We're close on the 15 plus, and I've got a 30 mod advantage on the 20 plus mods. He's got a lot of his relics in the tier 5 and tier 7s. And this usually doesn't happen. I've got a mod advantage on my JML. He's got a really slow Sith Eternal Emperor. And then his Ray and his SLKR are modded poorly. But it's a little worrisome. I'm I might attempt a gas counter. And I did that in Territory Wars. And I felt like the worse it was modded the harder it was for gas to beat it because the damage immunity wouldn't come off the characters because they wouldn't take their turn so we'll we'll see how i play it S decent ish but slow padme good jedi Knight anakin good rex acceptable revan but slow I have the advantage on Cat, which I usually don't. And then you can see the other aspects here. No Maul, no Moff Gideon. He does have the Bad Batch, though, and a 7-star Executor. I'm getting into this defense. My defense is slightly adjusted from last round. This territory is the same. I need to start adding relics here, make it stronger, or find replacements, but it's kind of okay for now. Bottom territory. Last couple rounds I've moved Grievous up front, but the rest is basically how I have it. It's not really ideal. Back wall though, I took Star Killer off because I want to showcase Star Killer on offense. Put Padme on defense, which is not a team I want there, but it at least has a high floor, which is the only reason she's there. And then we last round, per the poll, tested out the tie interceptor. This round, I'm going to test out the Outrider on offense, so the Empire have moved back to defense. For what I've got to deal with, it's going to be a pretty tough defense. Top territory, we'll be able to get through. This isn't too scary. We've got Grievous, Mon Mothma, Phasma, and a solid Bad Batch team. 
which I'm not actually sure how I want to address yet. Bottom territory though, this is the problem for Galactic Legends to block this territory. JMK, SLKR, Sith Eternal Emperor, and Rey. So we're going to do some stuff that we haven't done in a while. And I might be a little out of practice on it, but we're going to have to do the JKR, JKL counter for SLKR. We'll probably do JMK up against JMK. This is a reason to start keeping Padme for offense. I actually probably should have thought about that while I was setting my defense. And then Maul against Sith Eternal Emperor and we'll use JML up against Ray. Unless I want to try the gas counter. We're going to start though with the easy one which is going to be Sith Eternal Emperor. His Sith Eternal Emperor is slow and there is no tank. Which means I'm not going to get stuck behind a taunt and I can just do what I want. Well, that's how we're going to get started. All right, weapons tech on Candorus. AOE to get our stacks. Candorous AOE. The stun mine might not like. This might actually slow me down a bit already that comes off. Now we just pound Sith Eternal Emperor. Boom. Alright, I'm gonna go for Palpatine because he's got the stun. We're going to use Maul's ability to take out Dooku so he doesn't counter. Fine. I'm going to do a basic. Spell and a daze perfect. I'm gonna start hitting Dooku. All right, Dooku's down. Now I'm going after Treya to get rid of that Isolate on Django. And we're done. Not quite, not quite. All right, now we're done. Fantastic. But now the trickier ones. Because there's a few things I want to consider here. JMK is not going to be that bad because his cat is slower and weaker than mine. And Kiati Mundi messes that up. Because Kiati Mundi needs all Galactic Republic Jedi to work. Or even all Jedi to give some bonuses. So the stuff he contributes isn't going to be working with Kat because she's neither uh, she's not a Jedi the decision I need to make though is who's the fourth going to be usually I do usually I do Mace Windu but I probably don't need him, and I have Star Killer now, and Mace might be more fun there. Which means my alternative option. I don't have a better one. I'm just doing Mace because I don't have a better one. I'm just going to use a bad Star Killer team somewhere. I 
It's either assigned to keep Padme or relic up somebody else. Cat, take out his mace. He'll take out my GK, which is preferred. Now we start pounding Cat. I have the ultimate this round. I didn't have that last round. He's relic six though. I was, didn't have the mats I needed to do better than that. Perfect. Why am I playing this? Let's just hit auto. I gotta hit some lights. The sun is setting. That's the easy part. Now we need to do the RNG portion of our GLs counters. Right after I set up some lights for the rest of this. All right. I have some notes for how to play this, but I have not rewatched any footage or practice this in quite a while. So I'm hoping I don't make mistakes, but there's no Sith Trooper here. So I think I'm gonna be okay. Old Ben, Hermit Yoda, and Bastila. This I can clean up with CLS if I get it low enough. I just might want CLS for Bad Batch. All right. Hits me. Did he not trigger the sacrifice? What's going on here? All right. We're swapping with JKL and stunning everybody. I want foresight up, but actually, I don't know if that matters since Sith Trooper is not here. Uh, no, it still matters for us if they are. Alright, we're gonna ability block. This should take out Hux. It's pretty good. I'm just basic it. I guess, Kylo? Conquest is frying my brain right now where I'm expecting extra assists because of those data disks.
Old Ben's got the most turn meter. Alright, let's... I should have basicked on to Kylo. That's the sacrifice. There, we got our ability block. This is partly mods, partly because it has the wrong team. Awesome. Just awesome. Now, do I want to risk it or just go for it? Let's check the mods on these guys. Even though his mods aren't, aren't great, he still has a lot. And quantity can still make up for lower quality so 303 so I don't really have enough attackers let's see what kind of JML squad we can put together for this it's also a slow race she's let me check this hop up she's 505 speed so I'm beating her and then I can put together a Jedi squad that is kind of junk that looks like this. The question is do I think that is good enough to beat Ray? And I don't. But do I think it's better than my gas team? It is a Relic 8 Ray. I'm gonna go with gas. I just feel like maybe I can pick it apart if it doesn't work out. We send in JML, and then I don't have a good Star Killer team. But maybe if Star Killer is going last, that's good enough. And there's also CLS, so we have four potential attempts. Shred. No, come on, trigger. All right. Wish we had a little bit more turn meter on Rex. This is what happened to me in Territory Wars. I went up against a poorly modded one. And the turn meters just worked out really poorly for me. Kind of like it is right now. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, this is a mess. I might need to quit this. 
And this is why I should have trusted my instincts. Yeah, that's bad. Can we take out Finn? This is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, I need to quit. There's nobody else. Oh. Go down Holdo. Alright. Finn is triggered. Now let's hit Poe. Actually, let's increase cooldowns on Ray. Now we hit Poe. meter okay BB-8 that's not quite Let's just spread around more of the master's teachings. We still need to trigger the damage immunity on Ray though. Turn meter. Clearing this. I do think having all the cooldowns messed up helped. Because nobody had lifeblood to start. Holdo was basically dead. I think we probably could have won regardless, though, with JMK, because it's just not really a good team. I should save all that stuff from the middle. should be it. Wonderful. All 
right. And he's, this is a win. This is a nice win that I feel good about. Through the GLs. See what he has on the back wall. It's probably... It's actually probably still pretty good because this guy doesn't really play. So he probably just sets down a lot. So it might not be full clear. No, maybe not. So we got Finn, Zam, and he has no Omicrons, remember. And Night Sisters. This is nice stuff. We're in the top territory first. Wampa. I pause this for a second to fix the camera, so sorry for missing the start. Camera is still not focusing. We'll deal with it after this. Such a nice Omicron. To have just a problem free counter for Grievous. A team that usually just eats up banners. Fun and it makes me happy. What's up, Parker? All right, come on. Let's fix this camera. All right, camera's fixed. We're back in business. Bad batch. This is gonna be CLS. We're not. We don't need to complicate anything here. See if we can blow up Echo. Almost. Now they can't win. This is something where whenever you see these initially scary rosters, it's usually low participators and they're going to drop further. It's something that's really weird like in the alt playing in the lower divisions 
where it kind of it it kind of is unfun for the game mode where you get these massive rosters with tons of relics when you have these tiny rosters and usually they're a win if you do your minimum battle and you just get 10 banners because they don't participate but that stuff will filter out but right now I'm seeing it in the alt and it's just not that much fun. I want to use Star Killer somewhere. Let's not do it here. Let's do Bad Batch here. Whoa, cat, why are you trying to bite me? This is my workstation. I just, I don't, it doesn't really matter. This is all Echo Zeta is doing the hard work. Yeah, let's get a little protection. No, there's no protection, never mind. That's not how that works. Do a little chop. I gotta f reset blue stacks because after this battle, sounds like crackly on the sound effects. I don't even know if it's loud enough to hear, but uh, it's there. It's been fixed. Is this where I want to use Star Killer? This has all gone mostly to plan. I've still got troopers. I've got Night Sisters. And there's what Phasma, Night Sisters, and what nonsense left? Oh yeah, Finn and Zam. So this is all nonsense. He does have Ray, so the Finn team. It's not complete nonsense, but it's not like it's good. I just think the Phasma team is most useful to test Starkiller. Question is, do I want to do a good or a bad team to test Starkiller? But the problem is I already used up my old Ben. So I kind of have to do Palpatine. But the problem is Palpatine is, with Mara Jade is so good. It's really a showcase of how good Palp and Mara Jade are. Starkiller is barely going to contribute. I'm not done gearing him up. I ran out of Kairos, so I only have a gear 11 one. I kind of want to use a bad team. Because that might be more interesting in determining. What kind of team I have here. But in terms of Jedi... I 
I'm gonna do some dumb stuff. This guy is not beating me. He is not full clearing me if he even plays. So I am gonna do Dooku lead. I need a Jedi and an unaligned force. So let's do. Actually, we're gonna keep Kylo in that slot. Actually, let's put Star Killer in that slot. Is it time? It's time to gear up Juhani and maybe even Kanan. All right. We're going in with this nonsense and seeing what happens. I'm excited for this because I don't get to do much dumb stuff as I used to in Grand Arena 2.0. This is stuff I like to do. All right, let's do a little of this. Get the stacks of whatever this stuff is called using abilities I don't know the names of yet. Let's get retribution going. There's some sort of synergy, I think, with this ability and Starkiller, and I don't remember it at the moment. All allies, what? No. We're just going to do the defense up. The engine here is Officer, so I'm going to target him. He's got tenacity up, so I'm gonna go for stunning phasma. More of this nonsense. Do I want that? I kinda wanna do the basic, cause it's gonna be an AoE damage. I wanna see what happens. Let's do that. Okay. Let's heal up a bit. I don't really feel like we're learning anything, but it's fun. see how weak he is right now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Ooh, let's do it. up against a trash team. That shouldn't be on defense anyway. Let's take a look. I could not see what he used on defense from his Grand Arena history. His opponents were usually getting stuck. So we got Radis, Final... We're good. We are good. Oh, wait. No, let's... No, let's not jump to conclusions. He has SLKR and Rave, so his finalizer and Radis are going to be pretty good. But we'll wrap up with that. We're going to just burn through these teams quick. You can hit the timestamps if you want to skip these, because I'm sure they'll be skippable.
You know what? Let's do that. No, he's could die. Let's do pilot. We'll get some debuffs. Because there are going to be bonus turns from the vets. Unless that's a Zeta. I forget if that's a Zeta or not. On the plus side, though, he didn't have teams like Geos on defense. Which I see too often in Old Republic. Yeah, let's hit Finn. Left out time for pilot. This is kind of a weird team. Do I have troopers this? Or do I want to troopers the Night Sisters? have Treya for the Night Sisters, but Treya's a little bit Oh I kept Thrawn. Yeah we can do that. Let's do troopers here. There's a few easy to take out bounty hunters here. And I doubt the mods are anything we need to even check. Dark Trooper, because it'll open up some things I can't use right now, but they're so good, even at this level. This Night Sisters and Trey are the best stuff I've left. Not, um, yeah. yeah. And put pain on everybody so we can use a drain life on a bunch of debuffs as long as Talia doesn't clean everyone up I guess Talia's going to do it so I am going to s no we, we, we got a decent shot Yeah. I'm 
about to take Doc out anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. Get our revive. Trigger sacrifice, sure. I'm gonna slow down on my watch of rebels. I watched uh, Altered Carbon season two instead this week. I enjoyed it. All right. Oh, I still had one. Let's get the ships, I'm bored. What I expect to see is my opponent will see the full clear and do one or two battles and stop. This is kind of what happened last week. But I do appreciate the challenge of that front wall he gave me. I do wonder if I had just combined GML gas if a one shot full clear is possible. Let's check how good of a Beskar Mando he has. I have no idea and that does affect how this counter goes. He probably has an yeah, that's what I thought. It's gonna be excessive. This could actually go poorly. We will give it to Iron Jesus. Because what's probably going to happen is there's going to be that mass assist onto the Razor Crest, which is going to cause a lot of damage and might prevent this counter from working. That actually went pretty well. That was way less damage than I was afraid of. All right. Breach onto the Hound's Tooth, let him do his stuff. Heal up. Now we do our damage. Hoping for two hits. Evan Hawk time. He's gonna heal up. Unless Hound's Tooth takes him out, which I don't think is gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. Q. 
Okay, we got our payout. Should have hit slave one. Clicked too fast before I saw the opportunity. There goes slave one. We'll be able to pull out my slave one in a second. Oh, perfect. I'm going to take advantage of my window here. Okay. That's actually the easy part. It means for offense, he's got Negotiator, Malevolence, and Rebels, and Empire. That's pretty good. This is the bonus for Radis and Finalizer players. Is they got some good stuff. We're gonna play it safe, so this is gonna be malevolence. Because I'm much more worried about the Kylo Ren here. I'm gonna hold back Soldier, because I've never once needed him. If I do bring in someone, it's going to be Spy. And if things do happen to go poorly, Soldier, I might be able to throw with Mace Windu or something. And if not, it's some banners. This is why I like the finalizer on defense. You see how fast it is. And if you're using like a C to your team, that's a problem. It's not a problem for the malevolence. But it would be a problem for like the rebels maybe. It's the type of thing where since I'm using Outrider with my Rebels and my Outrider is only four stars, I wouldn't be surprised with Solana. This is a thing I've been always I always talk about. Never put the Sith on or uh, the Sith Empire ships on defense or on reinforcement. They're prioritized. They mess things up. He probably he could have had like the TIE Echelon or another TIE fighter back there and it doesn't matter. It'll happen with a Sith bomber too. Cause like you feel like they're filler, you're just gonna fill up the slots, throw them in there, and nah, it messes it up. All right, Outrider. I've only been able to test this out in GCs. So I really have no idea how fast or good it is.
Phantom's not needed if Outrider's not a reinforcement, so we're just gonna do this. There's no tank. And that's gonna hurt a little bit. We've got a dispel on the Falcon's basic, so that means a lot of those buffs that help increase the cooldowns for the Radis are going to be able to be dispelled. But they are Relic Pilots, so they are going to do some damage. And those Relics mean that they can go first. It's my only concern with the Outrider. See, now we're fine. We got protection up. Okay, which one of these was it? Gain turn meter, or can we do this first? Because I kind of do want to heal. Let's do it. That was really underwhelming and bad. I should not have done that. Oh my. really bad <laughs> okay maybe the y-wing would have been a better no I don't know if it would have been Cassian. There we go. Let's take out this next problem. We won't have much to worry about. No, no, no. You gotta get out of the way. So you can see how the Outrider needs some more stars. And I got a Relic 5 dash, so it's not, it's not the pilot. Maybe we'll have to do this again and do the other ability first. I just got scared by the level of health, and now I, then I got very disappointed by how little health I got from that ability. So definitely played it wrong. Alright, that's decent. We dropped one battle, but otherwise one-shot things, despite me not playing the Outrider in the best way. But that should be a win. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm taking down four GLs on one territory with only my two GL roster, but we had some nice off-meta counters. Thank you for watching. Be safe out there, everyone. This is still Plays Galaxy of Heroes.